let's talk about what is attribute so you can think attribute as like putting the additional information about the product it can be color it can be size it can be location like any additional information which gives more info about the product is attribute like more features about it for example if you are ordering a shirt you might need to know the size you need to know the colors so that is attribute the additional features which can be selected so as to give more enhanced information about the product we want to order so when we are talking about the attributes there are three types there is configuration attribute inline attribute and global attribute we will discuss each one of them one by one so let's talk about configuration i am on the product smart watch and for the coat line i have already selected smart watch just to show that what is configuration attribute so in smart watch we need additional information about the color so this is where we have color for watch bands for this option um, we have uh, basically this is the feature right which we have discussed earlier that in smart watch if we go to related we have watch band and charging options so for watch band we have three colors black white and gold and it's not there in the charging option field it's just for this feature so that's how it gives additional information about the watch band so that is your configuration attribute now let's see that how exactly we set it up so these are the steps to do that firstly create a field in product option object then we have to create the same field in the quote line object then we go to the configuration attribute object open the target field add the api name then we select the configuration attribute in record type and then finally we go to the product in the related we will create a configuration so let's see that in action so see this um, first of all we have product option this is an object in the product option we have to create a field with name which we want as attribute here we have color so i have put color as in a uh, field and i have put it as pick list and here i have added the information black white and gold now the second step is go to the quote line object again with the same api api name you add these values uh, black white and gold after doing this what you will do in the next step it says go to configuration object and open the target field and add that api name so we will see here this is my configuration attribute object in that i have added the color the same api name which we are talking about we need to select that we will show that why it works okay. then the fourth step is the record type select configuration attribute and record type so you can see if i click on configuration attribute there are two record types right global attribute and configuration attribute for now i will be adding in the configuration attribute so in the configuration attribute we have the target field in the target field see we have the color being added and then go to product related and create new configuration attribute so see this in the configuration attribute we have something called color now let's see what, how it is set up if i click on edit i can put any attribute name and then the target field here you need to choose the target field so here i have added as color that particular api name that will automatically shown once we add in the target field in the contribution attribute object once we do that once we go to quote and we do the edit lines and that we use the watch here we see the color black white and gold and we can choose specifically which color we want so that's how we will be getting configuration attribute and selecting which attribute we want to choose now we put color as gold for instance and we have already uh, a smart watch band being selected and some of the quantities are being there what i want to show is like once i click on save we are like what we are doing we are configuring the products like this choosing what we want 
so this is this one is happening because in the product options we have added this field so that's why it is coming here now let's click on save we get the edit code option the edit code option we we'll get we get the chance to select the quantity and everything okay and for example in the smartwatch these are the items being selected that is with smartwatch these products will be automatically coming in bundle that we have already discussed and then we will click on save once i click on save what exactly happens is a code it goes to the code page and once i go to related code lines we can see because we clicked on save so we have a smartwatch of 200 and see all of these are coming as zero because once we purchase the watch then there is no specific charge for the charge it comes inside the watch the, the price is involved included same with the band same, same with the other adapter everything so that's why it is showing zero now if i click on smart watch band because here we were talking about the color we have something called color as a field let's see where is it so we are in the quote quote line and if i see see this color is coming as gold now why this color is coming as gold because in the product option it was showing it was showing because we have created here and then in the quote line because we have created so automatically it is taking it from uh, choosing from the configuring products to the quote line and that's why here you are able to see the color of the product once you save that code so that exactly how it works now we would be talking about our next option now we will be talking about our next option that is inline attribute now what is inline attribute see this we have something size here that is inline attribute we have product description so that is where like you can get extra information here as well now how to do that again we have steps for uh, creating inline attribute we will create a field in product option object so that we are able to see in the product configuration then we have the same field in the quote line object and then we will be adding the in the field set option configuration and we will be able to see so let's see that in action so this is the size we are talking about in the product option we have created a field called size the same field and we have put is like as a pick list value you can even put as text the same values api name we will be creating for quote line and we will be adding the options once we do that the next step will be that we will be going to field set in this field set we have something called option configuration in the option configuration we will be adding size here we can all just drag and drop and put wherever we want and then we will click on save once we do that and go to the configure product page we can see that it is being saved so let's put it as 38 mm color as black and click on save now it will be coming to edit code we will just simply save it so our quote is here we will go to related and we can see quote line item again we will click on view all let's click on quote line item see this color we selected as black this is our configuration or attribute size we put at 38 mm that is our inline attribute and that's how it gets saved in quote line because of the second step add in the quote line object